We're here in Ellenville, New York. It's about a two hour drive from Long Island and it's the hometown of Shannon Gilbert. It was her disappearance that led to the discovery of bodies along Ocean Parkway and led to talk of a Long Island serial killer. Shannon Gilbert spent most of her life struggling to find her way. Her path led her to work as an escort. And although the money was good, the girl with the deep brown eyes and starlit smile had bigger dreams. My sister is saying from like the time that she was like five, six to, you know, up until the day she went missing, she loved singing. When she was younger, her idol was Mariah Carey, you know, and her voice was like, like an R&B kind of voice. She really worked hard on it and, you know, that was something that she really wanted to do. This is the house Shannon Gilbert grew up in here in Ellenville. Her family and friends have happy memories of her here. They say they're willing to tell her story to anyone who will listen in the hopes that if she's alive, she'll come back home. Shannon's struggles began early. As a young girl, she was placed into foster care and spent most of her life battling depression and mental illness. She was very difficult. She had a lot of issues and Mary couldn't just handle her and all the girls. She didn't like to take her meds. She get them nearly impossible. Yeah, but she was, I thought she was a good kid, bright and uh, warm. Give her a kissy. Oh, you want to get away from me now? Despite her painful childhood, Shannon graduated high school early. She wanted to perform and often went on auditions in the city for small roles. She was very funny. She was, you know, cool people. Was like, she was fun to be around all the time. She loved to sing. I love being around Shannon. She, she always have fun with everybody. You know, sometimes she, she seemed up and sometimes she, she was down, but she uh, wanted to be accepted. You know, like she longed to be accepted and be liked and, and to be part of, of the group instead of the outcast. Her friends say it was that need to be liked and included that led her down a dangerous path. She moved to Jersey City with an abusive boyfriend and eventually got involved in drugs and online prostitution. She wasn't happy with the lifestyle. She always complained she was in a domestic violent relationship. That wasn't healthy for her. She knew that it wasn't something that she wanted to do. She really didn't want to stay in the business. She was you know, enrolled in college. She was doing an online college course. However she felt about being an escort on May 1st, 2010, it led her here to this house in the quiet community of Oak Beach. It was the night Shannon disappeared, triggering an all-out search by law enforcement and the discovery of at least eight bodies buried nearby. Eight victims, none of them Shannon. For her family, the agonizing wait continues. Yeah, every time they discover a new body, I always feel like it could be my sister's and I feel like, you know, you live like this double life when something like this happens because when you, especially when you have children, you have to be happy for them, you have to raise them, you have to kind of forget about it, but then you go to bed at night and it's always on your mind. It's not ever going to go away until you find out where she is, whether, you know, she's gone or she's safe. What happened to Shannon Gilbert on the streets of Oak Beach? And how does Shannon's story shed light on the work of a possible serial killer or killers? The hunt for answers when we come back.